Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is a little bit more impromptu. It wasn't something I was necessarily planning, but I was watching um, a couple of, not a couple, I was watching a YouTube um, video yesterday from a girl I really like to watch. I can't think of her name right now. I'm her horrible with names. But she was talking about um, her diet and trying to lose weight and trying to get a healthier relationship with food, which is something I've been doing my own self over the past year or so, and I feel like I've really gotten a fairly decent control over my eating habits, what I'm eating, and just my overall relationship with food. Um, something she mentioned was that she is a pasta junkie, which, girl, I hear you. I love pasta. Um, and then the other thing she mentioned is that she isn't the biggest fan of quinoa, even though she will cook with it. Um, and normally I could agree. I mean, just to eat quinoa by itself, personally, I think it tastes horrible. But when you cook it properly, um, it has a really good flavor and it's full of protein, really good things for you, and it can do um, a lot to amp up your meal. So this video is going to be how I do a uh, cheesy chicken quinoa vegetable dinner. Um, pretty much, it's like macaroni and cheese. I mean, what I tell myself is when I eat macaroni and cheese, the whole goal is to get cheese in my mouth because I like cheese. So instead of using pasta to get the cheese into my mouth, I'm using vegetables to get the cheese into my mouth. I like to add in the chicken for the protein, and then I also like to add in the quinoa because it's good for you. So I'll go ahead and show you all how I do this. And um, other than the cheese going in, it's pretty much a guilt-free dinner. So feel free to smash it in and eat all you want. So um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you what's going on in the kitchen. Okay, so my um, oven just got up to temp, 375. I've got my chicken going right now. I probably should have used a different pan, one with edges instead of a cookie sheet. Oops. We're going to let that defrost a little bit more and then add salt and pepper. Those take about um, 30 minutes to cook. Right now I've got one cup of quinoa, one, one cup of quinoa, <laughs> um, one cup of water on to boil with one boiling cube. Um, what you want is your water to boil with this boiling cube to pretty much make a broth. You can use any kind of flavor boiling cube you want. I'm using chicken. And when you cook your quinoa, it is going to soak up all the flavors from the broth and just give it great taste. Um, personally, I find quinoa to eat it just by itself. Kind of tastes green, almost like grass, I guess. Um, yes, I have tried grass when I was a kid. I think we've all been there. But we're going to go ahead and let that boiling cube dissolve the rest of the way and let our water boil. And then the vegetables I'm going to be using is the Normandy Blend. You can get a really big bag of this stuff from Walmart for about five bucks. Um, these make two to three meals for us. And per meal we get four servings. So that'll do Mike and I's dinner plus our lunch for the next day. So um, we're going to go ahead and get this in the pot and get it cooking. So I'm just going to add it in a big old pot right here. And then... We just use the classic Creations Ragu Double Cheddar. So I'll go ahead and come back once everything's ready to be mixed. So I just got my half cup of quinoa in my water. Um, my quinoa called for one cup water, half cup quinoa. Um, just to follow the instructions on the back of your packet. I went ahead and added in an extra boiling cube just for a little bit of extra flavor. We're just going to let that sit and cook and all that good stuff kind of like doing up rice not much different then I went ahead and salted and peppered my chicken on both sides and flipped it um I've been loving the black pepper lately can't get enough and then I've got my veggies in here and they're just kind of steaming away I didn't add any oils or anything so I could have used some cooking spray over there <laughs> but I can't find my cooking spray so joys of moving so we're just going to continue to let all this cook. I'm going to get the chicken here back into the oven, um, get the quinoa cooked up, and I'll be back when everything's ready to go. So my veggies got all cooked, and I went ahead and added in all of my cheese. Not all of it. Um, a little more than half of the jar I added in. I might add more. I don't think I'm going to need to, though. But I went ahead and turned off the heat. Excuse my uh, dirty stove. Again, this is impromptu, and I didn't clean it from yesterday. Um, but... I went ahead and added in all the cheese. You can see all the steam coming off. And I did that just so the cheese can go ahead and heat up. And then I've still got my quinoa going. It's got a good boil going. And we're just waiting for all that water to cook off. And then I will show you the difference between cooked quinoa 
and regular quinoa because I know when I first started cooking quinoa myself, that was one of the troubles I was having was how do you know when it's done cooking. So I'll show you that here in a second. So I wanted to go ahead and show you the difference between cooked quinoa and uh, raw quinoa. So let me get my uh, spoon sit down we can show you here. You may already be able to tell the difference. But all of these right here, these little tiny ones, it's the raw. It's not cooked. They're quite hard. Everything over here has been cooked. It gets much softer. And if you can tell the little inside a lot of times, the little white part on the inside, that will start to break open and come out. You can see that right over here when one of them came out. And you got the shell right here that's empty. And that's what you're looking for is for them to get really soft and for that little centerpiece to start to pop out and then you'll know that your quinoa is pretty well um, good to go. And there you have it folks, grown up macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Not necessarily grown up, but definitely healthier than regular macaroni and cheese. Um, you got your chicken, your quinoa, your veggies, you're good to go. Um, again, pretty much a guilt-free dinner. The only bad thing in here is the, the cheese, but it's really not that big of a deal. So, so that's that for my cheesy vegetable quinoa chicken dinner. Um, Mike and I really enjoy eating this. We eat it quite often, probably once once a week on average. Um, if you don't have any quinoa, you can always use brown rice. Brown rice is completely fine and totally good for you. Um, and if you don't have any of that, you can always just do the vegetables and the chicken and the cheese. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me any comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in my next video.